with right foot forward, double punch. Use your own internal rhythm, okay? Double punch, finished it off. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, go. Okay, let's do it together, okay? But when we do it together now, try to make use of what I'm trying to voice. Try to get it, come out of your box, okay? Try it another way. Everybody has their own way and it's okay, but let's not, let's get that okay a little bit better. Let's get it better to get it the best way we know how. Um, go back to your principles. If you know that, if you feel that what I'm saying is probably something you do and I see, then ask yourself, how are you getting there? Which principle are you addressing? Okay, and maybe that's something that I can interject. What, what I see overall is yes, you get to where you need to be, but how you get there is kind of self-taught, which is, which is okay, like I say, it's okay. But, what I feel I can help you with is that if you understand where the principle is, you can get there in a better or best way. A lot of you are using hands, where, where I'm trying to pull you away from hands and say, once you set up your hands correctly, they will get there because you have a core that, and a mind that's driving your force, okay? So if you go back to a simple thing that Tai Chi uh, uh, focuses on internal energy. You want that energy awakened or alerted to move you in the right or proper position. You want that flow to continually go there, get there, but if you're using your hands, that energy stays there and does not promote a good flow. So if you look at it that way, then you will question yourself as to what's happening, why are you getting there, and what are you lacking in a principle to make that polish, okay? All right, so this time you're gonna um, try to listen and try to address whatever I say, okay? Right foot forward, left foot on a uh, 45 degree weight, Evenly distributed on a double punch. Sit back, sit down, pivot all the way around, hands go around, closer to the Dantin, comes up with your foot as you tuck the elbow, kick out, left, in, hook, down with your toe, sit down on that posted, midway, pivot out as your hands and everything go to the left, stretch out, Come up, shift weight, golden cockerel. Toe, spin, hook, look, 
split, sit down, halfway, pivot out to the right, suspend yourself, shift your weight, come up, golden cockerel. Heel, hold your ball. Heel, spin the ball, then turn the hips, shuttle right. Sit back, slightly out, hold the ball, heel, spin the ball, then turn the hips and waist, hardly any movements of the hand. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, set up the top hand, point that left foot, one hand, two hands, then your foot, start in the middle, stretch out that knee, flash arms, only to what your core allows you to do. Do not use your hand to get to flash arms. Sit back, sit down, pivot, fist up, down on the toe, spin out to deflect, turn that wrist back in as you parry, then punch. Touch, open the fingers, roll back and sit down. Come up and then lunge forward. Sit back, sit down, pivot, open pivot, in pivot, Embrace the tiger first, then shift weight as you rotate up, come in, push out with the left, separate, drop shoulders, flex knees. Gravity takes care as you close your form. So yeah, sometimes when the movement is dragging and you're in balance, then you can readily identify what principle you're using you know, you can't identify with a principle if you don't know the principles. So make sure you know the principles. Okay, what are the principles? Let's when Maiden works her shuttle, here, turn. It's almost a snap. But I don't want to use the word snap because I don't want you to um, go snap, you know. But I do want you to think through snap, out, turn, then softly snap. And like Mike said, the hands, do they go? Set it up, magic begins. Magic begins because this guy is directing you, okay? Yeah, I, I think we do know the principles, but you know the short form of the principle, okay? But maybe it's time to refresh, go back, and I'll send you the link on the, the 10 principles. And then, of course, there's uh, tranquility. That's the last one. There's um, uh, pos posi positive thinking, that kind of stuff. Okay, but I think the the principles we're really heavily on now are the movement principles, like matching the top and the bottom, coordinating. Okay, um, let's let's um, fix up our serpent. Okay, all right. So we kick out, we come in, we're this way, okay? And this is eye level, this is uh, on a new plane, it's this way. The feet are parallel, they should be in line, and I could already see that it just so happened my planted foot is already at the edge of a line, it should be in line, okay? And it's parallel, so it can't be this way, okay? Or it can't be in line, okay? So you're setting it, setting it up correctly, multi, then magic, okay? So this is my split, and I'm not over split, and I'm not uh, back split. I'm in line, and this is, my, this is my comfort, okay? I have my hook here. I don't have it here. I don't have it here. I have it right at eye level. My weight is on the back. I post down. I sit down as far as I can. My hands don't just come down, but they're dictated by me coming down, okay? So, yeah, you set this up correctly, and sometimes this forward foot starts to slide, and then I find myself too, too split, okay? So you're gonna have to watch that. And one of the reasons why is that there's too much weight there. If it were weightless and I were stronger and my knees were healthier, I could post down nicely, okay? So all of those factors. You're like this, you're down, Tai Chi posture, you're down, and watch that foot that was now it's now gaining some weight. This is the half weight. I start to then shift and veer to my left. Okay, and I, 
I see too many of this coming back too tight. It's got to be a, a, a lighter, shorter, rather than coming this way. It looks bad, okay? So this is the way you are. Optimal position. Shift the weight to come up. Down. Pivot. Eye level. Out. Down. Sitting down. Halfway. I'm going to veer everything to move and shift to the opposite, which is the right. The arm of the front does not bunch up. And maybe that's something that I created when I said to move it back a little bit. Heel, hold, heel, spin. Set it up correctly, hands go for the ride. Sit back, slightly twist out. Bring the elbows in to hold your ball. Heel on an L, turn or rotate, then turn hips and waist. Hardly movement of the hands because the hips are taking care of you. Half step to the back, half step to the back, all together. One hand, two hands, then your foot, start in the middle. How much do you, yeah, that's it. My core said, that's it. My core did not say it's a hand motion. Once you come beyond a certain point, you lost your control of your core and you're just coming out for beauty. What do you feel is beauty? Okay, performance. Sit back. Hands not even moving anything. Shifting of weight. I need my balance. This is my balance because I'm on my toe of the front, the other one who comes up. This is my stability here or counterbalance. Spin out. Shifting my weight allows me to parry and then stabilize with a punch. Okay, let's try that. Let's start with our favorite, okay? Double punch. Right foot forward. Finish it off nicely. Sit back. Sit down. Open. All the way around. Down 10 area. Come up. Left hand, left foot up. Kick out left. In. Place that toe. Stretch out. Sit down on the right, halfway, then veer, pivot to the left, swing up, golden cock roll, toe, spin, look, split, down, sit down, then veer to the right, swing out, shift weight up, shift weight, hold ball, spin, Turn, shuttle right, sit back, twist out, hold ball, L, turn the ball, turn the hips and waist, hardly any hand motion. Half step to the back, across the hips and waist, set up that right hand, all together to the bottom of the C, one hand, join up the second, then the foot, stretch out the knee, flash arms, sit, back, twist, fist, shift weight, spin out, deflect, bring it in, and punch, touch, open fingers, roll back, sit down, come up, lunge forward, okay, gonna be particular, sit back, sit down, pivot, open pivot, in pivot, Cross hands first, then shift your weight. Okay, and try not to hop. How do you try not to hop? Is you're stable before you shift your weight. Now, how do you tuck your elbow? Make sure the elbow comes in. That's how you tuck your elbow. I don't know how else you can tuck your elbow other than hear it, but don't do it. Okay, so how do we come in? Can you do this and come in and then down? Okay, can you do that? Come on and watch. Okay, closing form. Come in and come down. Yeah, um, in. Can you, do this? can you just do this? Can you just do this, everybody? Hey, come in. This is how you come in. 
This is how you come in. This is how you come in. Say that to yourself and do it. This is how you come in. Yeah, this is how you come in. This is how you come in, all right? This is how you come in. Make sure you say that to yourself and the elbows come in. Here we are. This is how we come in, then drop. This is how we come in and drop. So what happens? The elbow does not stay out this way, but tucks in softly, then comes down. Tuck your elbow, that's what it means. You have to address the elbow, okay? But now when we're learning, you're saying, I definitely know this is how I tuck it in, this is how I tuck it in. Then what happens after that? You soften the movement. So how do you soften the movement? You don't tell the whole world, but you tell yourself, I'm tucking it in. You do it in a softer, um, non-obtrusive uh, uh, way, okay? Don't have to announce it, okay? Just the way when I taught you, when you embrace the tiger, when you embrace the tiger, you slightly bring him in. There's a way of slightly bringing him in without telling the world that she said to bring him in, okay? So first you learn the extreme and then you soften it up and that's all of Tai Chi. You learn the extreme and then you soften it up, okay? Are you clear on your, um, on your maiden, okay? So here, here, spin. So remember I say, if you set it up correctly, hands will go for the ride. If for some reason this is setting it up correctly, then you're gonna have to adjust the hand when you've got the driver right here. Okay, so if you have the driver right there, and part of it is bringing the, the centering your energy. If it's out here, it's not gonna work as well. You gotta bring the elbows in and overlap the palm to palm. Centering your energy, coming out, rotating, set it up. And it's not an overkill. It's not an overkill where you Tai Chi posture, I feel like I'm gonna fall. So patience, um, confidence, timing, you're in control, okay? You're in control and most of the time you have lots of control because you're thinking it through and then it comes out beautiful. But once you panic and say, you know, you panic because you haven't practiced enough but you wanna perform correctly, there's something, there's a loophole you didn't do your homework enough to perform an A plus uh, 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 piece of work, right? So you're gonna have to practice first and then smooth it out. All right.